uh, injecting the mouse with different first they have turned and then uh, although they are trying to go clockwise but i mean if we need to make it better so here is before and after version once i need to see this so i need to turn my head perpendicular i mean i need to drop my head to see this flow from here to here and then you can see so if we can try to improve it so i need maybe i need to just make it like in this direction and here would be before and after welcome to another video tutorial do you want to make your research paper stand out and here are the five tips for better graphical abstract and the first one is to plan ahead i mean start with a rough sketch on a paper using a pencil so this will help you to lay out the structure freely and once done step away and take your eyes off it for one day and then return with a later fresh perspective to evaluate the flow clarity and balance and getting early feedback from your friends or mentors and revising based on its crucial contents to polish your idea so always you can try to sketch out your story with the help of pencil paper and still you can see the pencil and paper version is best because after all you are going to draw your whole graphical abstract based on this flow so i mean you can design your context and the story flow you can decide your key elements and you can keep your main idea focused to the result of your main research article and the second is to remember that words in a graphical abstract should be fewer than written abstract of that research article so uh, you need to use your visuals to communicate i mean only to include essential terms and let the image guide the message so think of it that as a visual shortcut to your finding so if i need to say you can see if the abstract is like uh, 500 words so you can see the in the graphical abstract i i have tried to keep the things very minimal in the form of text and if we need to translate this graphical abstract back into the words so you can see this actually the graphical abstract translation is almost 50 percent or 60 percent of the actual research article app. and the third is to pay attention to the color contrast and saturation so you need to use those color intentionally to emphasize key points but keep it harmonious and a helpful trick is to choose a main color and use a darker version of the same color for the border so this will improve the clarity and aesthetic appeal without visual clutter so as here you can see we can try out different complementary color like you can see the red with the green i mean if you are writing in the red color so the background can be the green or if you are writing on the yellow color so it can be the purple i mean you can use the combination of different complementary colors and if we need to see i mean whether how we can draw different component or different figures so as here you can see the border of this shape is actually the same color but actually it's a darker version of the same color the style the length the width of the arrow is also same and uh, just to show the different process because here is the secretion and here is uptake so the fourth one is to ensure the consistency in rows lines text and labels for example i mean use the same arrows type to show the direction and apply one labeling style across all the design and uh, this consistency will make your abstract easier to follow and will make it professional like here you can see if we need to show the feedback loop i have borrowed this figure from biorender so uh, you can see if this is a feedback i mean one is activation and one is inhibition so you can see the activation is in this color so the arrows shows that this color belongs to this so even without saying a word this is giving the whole story by standing alone and if we need to 
or make the labels i mean how we can draw different labels so you can see the size and the style of this label is uh, similar i will be recording a separate video on how to design graphical abstract in biorender so i will show you how we can draw this type of labels in biorender and here is the sectioning if we need to show the sectioning so you can see we can draw a dashed line and we can divide in into different component so here is more or less so you can see if we need to show more or less you can see something is going up into the bile and something like the portal vein is giving back to the flow so i mean from here you can imagine or guess from this arrow that bile quantity is giving back to the liver is far less compared to the portal vein so you can see our even small arrows are giving the whole story without saying a text because of the size of the these arrows and if we need to show the transcription you can see if we need to show the stopping of transcription so we can use this one and if we need to show the transcription promotion i mean the initiation or the activation then we can use the arrows and from here we can show uh, the movement for just one second if you imagine that this arrow is not here so we cannot fully recognize whether these molecules are going toward or going backward to this story so i mean uh, if we need to show the moment the arrows and the colors can give a good story and if we will maintain the consistency fifth one is to apply a twitter or the text message test i mean you need to shrink down to a phone screen or imagine that it is just a tweet i mean if someone can understand it at a glance and even a smaller scale it means you have done right so you need to keep it clean cohesive and visually impactful so your audience leave a lasting impression we can test it on a small screen so here is this one paper which was actually published in nature so you can similarly apply the effect like you can imagine that if you need to publish this as a tweet so that it can get enough audience and even without the need of reading text it should stand alone so here you can see we have uplid and uh, in the low and in the high we have uh, trisomy so even i mean without the reading abstract i can tell what is actually going in on this research so uh, here are the few example of graphical abstracts once we will apply all our tips so here what we can improve in this graphical abstract although we cannot i mean pay big critique on this graphical abstract but if we try to mention like you can see here they have like uh, injecting the mouse with different first they have turned and then uh, although they are trying to go clockwise but i mean if we need to make it better so here is before and after version so you can see just uh, adding this one two three and pasting this whole text in one line and this whole arrow is giving a new look to this graphical abstract and here now we can have a look on another abstract so as here you can see this is the autoimmune error of cellular mechanism in celiac disease so here is actually the gluten which is passing through the intestinal lumen so uh I mean just for improvement purpose not for critics purpose you can see I once I need to see this so I need to turn my head perpendicular I mean I need to drop my head to see this flow from here to here and then you can see the arrows are again try to I mean going in clockwise so if we can try to improve it so i need maybe i need to just make it like in this direction and here would be before and after so you can see this is actually the uh, small intestine and now i have um, i have also uh, borrowed this figure from the bio render and you can see this is actually the now the lumen and now whole the text is going in this now the whole flow of the story is going in this direction so you can see this is the same content but a different idea 
so you can see this is sounding better compared to than this one so uh, here is the last example for, for before and after and you can see if we have the background color in the form of yellow and we have chosen very dark color so you can see it is uh, maybe can be improved if we have a simple background with lighter you can see if we need to mention our genes we need to mention in the lighter note so i always like lighter color on on simple background so hopefully these tips would be very helpful for designing your graphical abstract so if you have any question please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye